Hey, Wagwan People Crypto Yard representing we in the house. So let's jump into this one. And I'm making this video because I have to tell you guys about this guy on Twitter here who calls himself N Coyote. Uh, even if it was to go on the Discord, which I don't even use that often anymore, you'll see that he's called Coyote as well. And the reason why I have to make a video because this guy is being, is twisting the truth, he's being disingenuous, he's being very insincere, which is causing me to think that he's got ulterior motives when he's calling out projects that he believes are deemed to be scams, which I've got no problems with. It's everyone's right to, to, to call out stuff that they don't believe in or uh, whatever. That's not my issue. It's when you start telling lies, that then means that nothing you say, I, I, can't, I can no longer believe you. Or uh, there'll be doubts in the back of my mind that why are you doing this? You've got some ulterior motive. So this is the guy with his body war on rugs who's been going around trying their best to discredit all the hard work that the base protocol devs and team and even the dot dot incubator has put in even i mean there are lots even chain link themselves who came to these guys who came to base protocol base protocol didn't go to them they came to base protocol asking like yes we're willing to work with you knowing that they would be accepted because of the rally chain link but they were the one that came to these guys but this is not the point i'm not here to argue anyone's case apart from you have to just be careful of these guys and the lies that they tell and wonder why are they telling these lies sometimes when you see them going in so hard like for example i see what you were saying about base protocol i went and i said uh oh, this and that and you, know, you you guys aren't telling the full truth because they they when people are providing them proof of these guys uh like probably their whereabouts they are deleting these things. Anything that anything that, that, that can show that the base protocol team are legit, they, they're trying to delete it, hide the tweets. But then they want you. It's, it's just unbelievable. And what this guy did, and he's denying that he did, was actually to show me a project, a project that later Rug pulled. He even helped me to get into the sales. And that's, I mean, I've got, it's my money, it's my choice. If I want to get into something, I'm not blaming him for me getting into it. I'm blaming him for telling lies after supporting and shilling a scam project. I mean, if I go, guys, I'm going to leave the tweet in the description for you guys to go and read the full tweet because he's not, he's not stop typing because he, he knows he's been caught out and I'm not in the mood of writing long paragraphs with this guy. So I'm not up to it, but you guys can go and read, read what he has to say. And I can show you what happened on the 2nd of the 9th, so 2nd of September. He actually came into the Ampleforth. And the reason why, he probably deleted it now anyways. I, there, are, there are a few Ampleforth chats in the community. So I don't know where to go and look. And then I have to go back all the way to the 2nd of September, as you can see here. And he came into the Ampleforth chat and was talking about a project called YF Beta. He was going on about how good it is, telling us that he's getting in there and that he thinks that we should get in there and whatever else. But he's doing it in his, you know, his clever way of, of making it look as if, he, he was in stealth mode, making it look as if he wasn't even shilling it when he was. But as I said, we are all adults. We decide to do what we want to do. And I was like, you know what? This guy always seems to be, talking sense and and this is the thing with people like this you have to be very careful of them they're very clever and they will use that cleverness to trap you so after like seeing seeing him always in the ample for chat and like you know what i like the way this guy speaks and whatever and if he's if he's um recommending a project it may be a good one i've got someone to throw at it so let me go and try i tried it couldn't get to it didn't know how to, how to do it because this was my first time using Bounce, which is where you go to do these pre-sales. So I went to him into his, um, via DM. I'm like, this is what I'm getting. As you can see here, guys, I'm getting a 404. Uh, so can you help? And he said, that, that is a you problem. Guys, read it for yourself. He, he even gives me the link to the wife beta sale it didn't it just it didn't just give me the link to bounce itself it gave me the link because he's, he's on twitter trying to say he wasn't shilling it and he wasn't promoting it but the guys got it right here to make sure that i'm on the right and this shows you that he was in the ample fort main chat or whatever chat he was in telling us about it because he's got it on hand to have the link here and i'm saying to him yeah the one in the comment um 
he said he just want to double click basic stuff first and i said i'll try your suggestions because he was telling me he says yeah i'm getting weird behavior out of bounds too different stuff but i think they might be having problems themselves i don't know how big well, how big they are so i have no idea if they are ready for this load so there we go he's selling it right there he's bigging up wife beta saying hey it's wife beta that's bringing this load to them why they're 404 in and maybe that's why they can't handle it he said we should be we should be much but we don't know what else is happening yeah so it's basically saying it's we that's creating the loads he is referring to wife beta as we and then this guy's gonna come on twitter and talk his nonsense and 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 just twisting the truth and that's why i've got a problem and an issue with him i mean if i was to go through some of these tweets um he's saying you mean you came to me as to ask to buy Yes, Mr. Coyote, I did came to you for asking to buy after I didn't know about this project. I didn't know it existed after you've shielded it. And as I said, I ain't blaming you at all. It was my decision to buy this. So yes, I did came to you for help. This isn't trying to twist the truth saying it's disturbing that you have that screenshot ready. But the thing is, I didn't have the screenshot ready, but I remembered him. It took me 15 minutes to actually find the screenshot. I don't use um, Discord as you can, as you can see from the screenshot, guys. I don't use Discord a lot. Like, let me just click on it. Ugh. like how many messages you see i've got here that i haven't read how many how many people here that's that's i i don't i don't read it because i'm not there a lot of these chats would be chats that i was added to without me had added myself people added me to these chats and you can see i never reply so i don't use discord that much so I didn't know how to find it at first. I had to navigate around it. So it took me 15 minutes. I didn't have it ready for him as he's trying to twist to let people think that, yeah, this was all planned and orchestrated. Mate, I am just here because I'm calling you out because I'm like, but wait, why are you going in so hard when you yourself, you yourself was up to it and you, you were selling and shilling projects which have rug pulled on people. And it wasn't the only project either because I've seen people on, on Twitter, other people on Twitter bashing you for selling them stuff. It's only recently you seem to become this righteous who is trying to save you from yourselves and from all these rug pulls. So shut up. No one's buying it. So when he says, um, I wonder why you'd be be so prepared that's like far from it like check my tweets you get me it took me a time to, to get to this and i'm calling the twister that he is for those of you that don't know this is a very popular ice lolly in the uk we call it twister and because this is what this guy is known as mr twister this is what i'm going to be calling him because as i said with clever people they are good at twisting your words um he says if you didn't misrepresent and lie i couldn't i wouldn't have to correct you i guess it's just twisting when i have to untwist your words and i'm saying there you go again twisting the night away because i i most likely think this is him dancing in his high heels he's going and said where exactly and i'm not going to reply to him any longer that's why i decided to make this video it's like where exactly so everyone can see the screenshot is bullshit they can also know i didn't shill or persuade i regularly refused i regularly refuse to give advice i simply explain you wasn't giving advice you was giving me a project then mate and as i said probably it's recently that you're, you're trying to be mr righteous here to save the community it says so just when when you see these guys going so hard like they are i mean if i've got something to say about a project i'll go and say it and i'll leave it at that i don't need to be going on and on i mean even this this is my tweet and he's in here going in and it probably wouldn't stop if i wasn't supposed to stop and as i said because i'm not into this back and forth i'm just gonna stop and this is gonna be the only video i'm gonna make about him and warren rugs and how to be sometimes careful of these guys because they might have ulterior motives like who knows if they're not being paid to to just go and you know talk down other projects by projects which which are their competitors so mr coyote mr twister you goes twisting the night away shut up you're a liar and you are insincere disingenuous and you are a charlatan go away from here mate move